Hello everyone. Today we're going to watch, uh, uh, well, more like listen to audio of the longest and most sovereign customer service complaint uh, in the history of the world. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking to get subscriptions. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. Get me to 10,000. It opens up a bunch of stuff that YouTube will allow me to do. It's a free way to support this show. This show will always remain free. Give me, do me a favor, hit me up with a subscribe. Now, before we dig in, watch this hilarious, hilarious sovereign citizen word salad mumbo jumbo customer service complaint. I mean, it's like it's like the sovereign citizen Karen turned into a man and complained about the post office, all right? You're gonna enjoy it. But before we do that, please uh, raise your glass, your cup, whatever it is that you drink from. As long as you don't have a Raiders cup, I'm okay with that. You guys see I'm black and gold. I'm a Steelers fan here in Pittsburgh. Uh, also, uh, in case you were wondering, Alexander Ovechkin, he plays for the, the Washington Capitals. He's way, way, way overrated. Sidney Crosby is the greatest hockey player of all time. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. I've got my, check this cup out, check that out. No license plate equals no window. One of my earlier videos, it tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Hi, you've reached Jeff Rogg, Regional Director for Manitoba in Northern Saskatchewan. I'm unavailable to take your call right now. Please leave your name, number, and a quick little message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. After recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Yes, hello, Jeff Rob. Uh, my name is Marcel of the family Bassett. I am signatory chief justice to Peacemaker Society, uh, peacemakersociety.org. We are a private law, competent law government. Uh, we're global. We're also a private law society, which outranks act and statutes. So basically, the reason I'm phoning is uh, I went into Canada Post at 3.50 p.m. today. Um, there was a lady working uh, at the post office. Um, I was in the process of sending some packages. Packages. I went to pay. She advised me that in the future I needed to pay with debit. I told her, no, I don't. I said, you can't refuse legal tender. She said, I'm not refusing it. She went to lecture me some more about it. Um, COVID-19 is bullshit. Uh, David Icke in London real proved it. So I don't appreciate being given suggestions on things that aren't even true. I run a global law firm. I know what the law is. She's not a lawyer. I don't appreciate being given legal advice by her, which is actually criminal to give legal advice when you're not a lawyer and not solicited. And you were, so I informed her I didn't want it. She informed me that she didn't like my attitude telling her I didn't want her advice so I gave her my card at this point I was very polite and punctual and all that uh, then she decided she was gonna call security and her manager so I turned on my phone the manager came I explained to her and then security came started telling me to leave the store I managed to get my change back and whatever and then as I'm leaving your security guards threatening me with his uncle who's a cop and all this bullshit um, you guys can't do that hey no corporation can give an order limitation of power corporations act and as I'm a sovereign with the fee schedule your agent are liable a million dollars per infraction as are you for willful negligence which is equal to fraud limitation of powers corporations act you can't give an order um, this is all recorded I'm putting this up public I expect that woman fired and the next time I go in there I expect to be left alone to do what I need to do without being obstructed it's not private it's public because people are allowed to walk in you don't need an appointment and your security has no right to tell me to leave a store when I'm just trying to pay with cash Okay, not to mention your pharmacy is completely liable for vaccines, but that's a call for another day. So within that, peacemakersociety.org, 204-698-2684. And the manager who is there, uh, her name is Annette. I've noticed her, and she allowed all this to happen in the store. Um, I want her fired, and I want the lady at Canada Post fired, or I'm billing each of you a million dollars personally. $300, I can have a private investigator private investigator get me your home addresses, and for 700 bucks, I can do a universal lien. All I have to do is bill you, lien 45 days later, and you're bankrupt. I'm a chief justice. I don't sue. I don't go to court. You've already committed a crime and I'm already able to financially end your agents. But if you fire them, I won't lean any of you. 
that's my deal. This has all been recorded. It's going on YouTube along with your name and that as well. So please conduct yourself accordingly. A lot of people died for freedom. Act and statute is not law and you are accountable to common law and natural law and corporate rules are not law. So I suggest you inform your people not to act like it is. And when they come across someone who actually knows law, not to get them physically almost assaulted by having them thrown out of a store. No one actually touched me, but it came pretty freaking close. And I don't like being intimidated when I'm trying to pay your store cash to do some business. And within that, just so you guys know, I'm not a business. I'm an unincorporated association. We're recognized by the law courts, Volunteer Manitoba, Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce, all levels of the legal system, Judge Corrin, you name it. So you guys really fucked the wrong one. Uh, if they're not fired, it'll be your ass too. Peacefully, lawfully, and this is going online in about five minutes. Uh, if you want to call me back and leave me a voicemail, happy to hear what you have to say. That will be played to the public as well. And if no action is taken, then I'm going to bill you and bankrupt you. Million dollars per infraction, and I can go after every time your pharmacy or anyone in your company interacts with the public in any way where they don't disclose limitation of powers in their status as a corporation. Uh, so I just, I'm very revolted. I, you know, Rob, I hope you're a good guy. I hope you actually care about corporate standards and doing things right. Cause if you don't, it's going to cost you a lot. And if you do, you won't hear from me again. So I hope Annette and the woman working can the post in the instant who Annette knows who it is, uh, are fired because if I see them in there again, you're all getting built. Willful negligence is a crime. It's equal to fraud, and it's up to 14 years in prison and a million dollars per infraction. That's our society fee schedule. We're not under act and statute. Educate your agents. And the next time I'm in that store, you guys better leave me alone. I'm recording every time I go in, and it's worth a lot of money to me if you guys don't listen. So I don't care if you do or not. I love getting paid. Have a great day. Thanks. And please instruct your agents. Don't give legal advice to people and don't tell us what to do. You guys are there to provide a service. That's it. We don't need your advice, and you're not the law. And COVID-19 is bullshit. London Real, David Ike. They put up a show. It's banned. London Real TV. Check it out. Anyway, have a good day, bro. Thanks. And with any luck, I won't have to talk to you again. Wish you well. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. That sovereign citizen rant was so crazy. I don't even know where to start. Okay. I got this whole. See all that? See all the? See all those notes I took here? All right. This may take a little longer. You know, watch the whole thing if you get as much entertainment out of it as I do. Um. At one point, he says he's very revolted. I've never heard that before. At one point, he says a lot of people died for these freedoms. Yeah, a lot of people did die for these freedoms. None of those people were sovereign citizens. I, I can't say that with 100% certainty, <laughs> okay? But my, very few of them were sovereign citizens. They ain't out there dying for our freedoms, okay? Very revolted. Uh, at the end there, he said to leave me alone, leave me alone. I thought he was going to sort of break into tears a little bit. Um, but don't cry over a situation that you created. Okay, sir? Um, this is like the longest, most insane customer service complaint that I have ever heard. Because that's what it amounts to, a customer service complaint. He's annoyed that they wouldn't take a debit card at the Canadian post office. Okay, get get it, get it. Wow, bro. Wow. Okay. Um, he calls himself the signatory chief justice. That's a that's a fancy name. It's complete BS. Uh, he says he works for the Peacemaker Secret Society, uh, a private law government. It should literally be illegal just to make these types of claims. Okay, saying that you work for a private law government and that your claims outrank statutes, that's actually, look, I'm not saying it should be illegal, but it's dangerous nonsense. It's dangerous nonsense. They take a bunch of these words that sound fancy and maybe sound legal, okay, that are used in certain illegal terms and instances, and they, they put them all together into this mishmash of nonsense. It means nothing. It's used to scare and intimidate people. That's what he's doing here. He's intimidating people with lies. Um, he, he says that he works for a global law firm. Then he tells them on the phone not to give fake legal advice while he is actively spewing fake legal advice out of his mouth. I mean, the, the, the hubris of these people is just mind-blowing okay mind-blowing um he then complains that, that that they had to get security uh 
and <laughs> it just uh he told them that they can't do that it cracks me up that they had to get security at the post office to get this guy out of there he says he was recording can we see the video please post the video i know i would like to see it i know my fans would like to see it too um no corporations can give an order then he uh he cites a fake statute the limitation of powers corporation act that is that it's not real i researched it it's not real that so that's some fake sovereign citizen statute that probably exists on these fake well they're not fake websites they're real websites that spew fake nonsense okay um peacemakersociety.org okay okay that sounds like a trip um he cites common law and the natural law and he claims another hilarious claim he claims he is someone who actually knows law. I mean, <laughs> I can't mean it. I can't, I can't do better. Um, you know, common law actually does exist. I don't know about the Canadian system, but in the United States system, we act, we have common law here. That all common law is are some laws that were passed down through the generations and that were reinforced by future courts over and over and over again. And because the laws worked more or less, okay, they didn't have to be codified into statutes. But still, even the United States, the vast majority of our laws are in statutes. Most countries of the world, etc., etc. The common law is not this fake, magical, arboreal thing that the sovereign citizens believe it is. Natural law is a concept that comes mainly from, uh, I would call them, I don't, not necessarily Renaissance era, but uh, the political uh, revolutionary era, I would say 17th, 18th, 19th century philosophers like John Locke and Thomas Hobbes and, and Rousseau and Montesquieu. Okay, and what they argued is that there are certain laws that are so fundamental that you could call them natural law. Okay, certain rights that should be protected by the government because they are so fundamental. And anytime the government violates those types of rights, they are committing a wrong. That's all the concept of natural law is. It's not, it doesn't actually carry any force of law. It just does not. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but it doesn't actually carry any force of law. Just like the, the Ten Commandments, some of them are codified, some of them are not. They're not all going to be enforceable by a government, even though, you know, they come from God. Okay, so uh, him citing that is just is just a bunch of BS. Uh, he says he wants them to be fi he wants that woman to be fired, or he's going to bill them a million dollars each personally. Uh, again, these are dangerous types of threats. Um, I hope you know. I'd love to see that video. I don't hope you go back in, sir. I don't. But if you go back in, I would like to see the video. I doubt it will be. Um, as safe and as, as safe of an exit as it perhaps was this time. Um, he then claimed, oh, he said a lot of people died for the freedom peacefully. Da, 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 da. Uh, again, there was just so much there, so much there. Oh, COVID-19 is bullshit. And, and at one point he says COVID-19 is BS. Shouldn't use that word. I'm going to get, um, all my videos are getting demonetized anyway. I'll just let you know that I think some of them I used to get monetized because they would manually review them. But since COVID-19 is hit, all 95 percent i've had one video which was not complete was not demonetized anyway um so he says covid 19 is bs and then he cites a video that was banned how are we supposed to go and watch the video that was banned okay think about what comes out of your mouth before you say it okay um that that's all that that, that that's all that was going through my head there covid 19 is not bs um, and then at the very end, he says he's going to lean them. He says he's going to lean them. He's going to lean them. He's going to lean them. And then he cites uh, some statute, some fraud statute that I think is under the fake sovereign citizen laws where you can get 15 years in jail. Let me tell you, sir, if you lean these people, you will get 15 years in jail. There's so much hypocrisy and irony in everything that he said. 
it just, I, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. But this is bullying. This is intimidation. Okay. I don't condone this at all. We're laughing at it a little bit, but the, I, I don't think he should be doing this type of thing. Okay, so I, I, I hope you enjoyed this, this the, the longest customer service complaint ever uh, filed by a sovereign citizen inciting fake law. It was thoroughly entertaining and thoroughly nonsensical. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really uh, appreciate some sub subscribers right now. I'm trying to get to 10,000. Thank you very much, Common Sense Academy.